Alert areas. These areas may contain a large number of high performance military aircraft performing routine training exercises that are both high speed and non aerobatic in nature, i.e. traffic patterns or instrument approaches. So there are some statuses associated with alert areas, but you must check with the controlling agencies to see if they're active. No legal restriction to either VFR or IFR traffic, but both may enter the alert area without communication requirements. But pilots should be aware of the high volume of military traffic. Alert areas are depicted on aeronautical charts to inform non-participating pilots of areas that may contain high volume of pilot training or unusual type of aerial activity. Pilots should be particularly alert when flying in these alert areas, hence the name alert. All activity within an alert area must be conducted in accordance with the CFRs without waiver and pilots of participating aircraft as well as pilots transitioning the area must be equally responsible for collision avoidance. Alert areas on sectional charts are denoted by magenta hash line with magenta identify numbers with a prefix A. So if you look, this is north of uh, slightly northwest of SeaTac or Seattle Tacoma International Airport, uh, just south of Woodley Bay Island Naval Air Station, there is an A680. If you go over to the side or edge of the chart itself, we're going to see that this alert area 680 is from the surface up to 3000 feet. And here's the times of use or hours of operation. So it looks like from 10 to 1:30 Monday through Friday in April through October, but November through March is from 10 to midnight. And then there's no controlling agency or no, um, yeah, no agency or no contact uh, information about it. This is an alert area and this is what it looks like on the charts.